anyway, so again, it cut off accidentally again, but I'm, I'm going to speak to this now. Exactly how much does heaven cost? Because the cost of heaven <laughs> runs parallel with exactly what Christ's network was. Because what did Christ say? It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to inherit the kingdom of God. And he also said that narrow is the gate and difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. So we need to uproot those who are unbelievers. We need to examine ourselves first and foremost and see that we are of the faith and see that we are actually paying the cross cost to enter the kingdom of God because heaven is not free. That's what most pastors will not tell you. You're going to live if you make it, live in heaven for eternity, don't have to pay no rent, live in mansions made of gold, walk down streets of see-through gold, transparent rivers of water, gates made of pearls, <laughs> the crowns in the eternal life eternal breath you don't have to worry about getting tired anymore you you're in your your prime for eternity you receive a new heavenly body you can have access just like that there is no travel in heaven anywhere you want to go you can go like that and you mean to tell me that this is free no it's not free because Christ said they have their reward. I can't stress that enough. Okay. So. Luke 958. Explain to us. That the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. Now this is the king of kings. Lord of lords. If he not rich. Nobody should be rich. <laughs> That's why he said they have their reward because godliness with contentment is great gain. Okay, we know that Christ died in the prime of his life at age 33. Okay, and those who were living the affluent lifestyle, the Romans, are the ones who crucified him. So those are the people who had the money. OK. The Christ was not rich again. Otherwise, Satan would not have offered him the world in Matthew chapter four. And finally. His net worth is an unperishable crown and the name of all names, the throne above all th thrones, the king of kings and lord of lords. The, the Christ has been given. A name above all names. You understand? That's his reward. That's his payment. Okay, eternal riches is the king of all kings. That's the payment that Christ had to pay. To die on the cross for our sins. Even though he lived a lifestyle without sin. You understand? So those who are rich, we have to look at exactly what is their contribution to the kingdom of God. Okay, because then we, we would see a completely different world that we live in. I want to make that clear. We won't see any of these homosexual parades They'll begin to do what the, the men of God were doing in the Old Testament. I'm not necessarily saying they would stone people to death, but they would put away with these things from offending one who's rich 
for, for eternity more than anyone. And that's the most high God, Jesus Christ. You understand? Because he has the power to cast into hell, cast anyone into hell for eternity. So we're looking at the power that he has, the riches that he has. You understand? So those who are in power, that everything that exists, exists by the word of his power. It's the scripture state. So those who have wealth now, the scripture state that the world is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, that's, I'm breaking down, that's why we don't see rich men supporting the word of God. They, they go contrary to the word of God. They, they go according to the flesh. That's why Christ said, even with the Pharisees, they have their reward. How much does heaven cost? It costs you your life. <laughs> you have to give your life to the, to the Lord. The, the, uh, Galatians 5 verse 25 states that those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with his passions and desires. You understand? So there's a mystery to riches. It's a mystery. Because if I'm looking from a fleshly standpoint, how much is Christ's net worth? How much should he have been paid? <laughs> Somewhere around $900 billion a year. And even that's an un underestimate. Now I'm just giving you an idea. If a person's looking in the flesh and they're looking at how rare, because again, the, 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 the people go off of exclusivity. That's how they determine a person's value, a, a person's net worth. And we all can agree that Christ was exclusive. There was no man on earth who did what he did. And not only was he not compensated accordingly, he was crucified. That's how you know that the kingdom of God is not what man possesses. That's what the scriptures state. The kingdom of God is not wrapped up in what a man possesses. Okay, that's why he talked about the Lazarus and the rich man. <laughs> you understand? So the, I'm going to be talking about this more. Video cut off twice. Uh, the devil is a lie. I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. He will have eternal poverty in the lake of fire. 